Can I buy things I like to get whatever I can to get to the free shipping? Kind of sucks because you're spending more money, but it, I think sometimes it's worth it in the end. So that's what this is. So the ones that I know that I've used before, these dates are really good too because I was worried. I was like, what if we don't use it in time? This one's called, all right, so it's from Dizzy Pig. And this one is Dizzy Pig and it's craft seasonings. Cow lick, spicy beef rub. And it tells you like what's in it, what you can use it on, like what they recommend. But these are really good for like, this one they recommend steaks, burgers, and briskets. It's a peppery Texas style flavor, medium heat level. 100% natural, gluten-free, sugar-free, food allergy-friendly. Approved by Picky Cooks, made in the USA. Dairy-free, soy-free, egg-free, wheat-free, nut-free, MSG-free. And I like this on steak. I like it on vegetables. It's pretty much good on a lot of different things. It has black pepper, spices, whatever that means. Salt, paprika, onion, and garlic. And they tell you the there is a bit decent amount of sodium in here. Um, and like how many calories and stuff, there's no sugar or it's a negligent amount. Um, three calories per serving, one, which is a quarter of a teaspoon. I mean, it's not, yeah, they're really good though. This one's delicious. And then Crossroads I've had before. This one is the Authentic Southern Barbecue Rub. I like this on like ribs, chicken sometimes. For the most part, it says tradition reinvented, down home, down home pure barbecue flavor, mild heat level. This one, so good. Let me show you one. And this one's the Catholic spicy beef rub, which I think is delicious on vegetables too. And this one has Demera, Demerara. Dem how do you pronounce it? Demerara sugar, salt, spices, paprika, garlic, chilies, and onion. And there's less than 0.5 grams of sugar, less than 0.5 grams of carbs. This one has a little bit of sugar and carbs, like a pinch, but it's so good. And when you grill like ribs or whatever, it, I feel like it kills that off anyway a little bit, but it gives it like a nice golden brown coating, you know what I mean? Like it's delicious, it's worth it. And then I got this one for a change. It says Mediterranean-ish. <laughs> I feel like I wrote these names, but I didn't. Mediterranean-ish. Greece and Italy in a bottle. Oh my God, I can't, I wanna open this up right now and smell it to see what it smells like. This one sounded delicious too. This one has a whole long description also. It says high temp grilling, pan searing, blackening, and barbecue. Diggy Pig ish, in quotes, ish, fusion blends. Mediterranean ish captures the expressive, evocative, exotic, and enticing aromas and flavors of the region and brings them fresh ground to your next cooking adventure to ignite your Greek and Italian culinary imagination shake on the Mediterranean-ish roasts, veggies, chicken, meatballs and that's like making like bread free, breadcrumb free meatballs oh, wow. Pizza and more all come alive with this medley of herbs and garlic flavors. I'm gonna have to open this up. We're in my bedroom, but I don't care. It has salt, granulated garlic spices, granulated onion, dehydrated lemon peel. Yum! I wonder if I could smell it through here. Oh my god, it's also good. It smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> oh my god, it smells so good. I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm, trying. I'm like, why did they stop? I think they might have had like a special um, relationship with a vendor or something. Because I think you can get these at um, some hardware store. I forget which one. 
And then I got the Dizzy Dust, which I've also had before, which is good on barbecuing or it's an all-purpose barbecue rub. Our flagship seasoning, versatile, complex barbecue flavor, mild heat level. I wonder what doesn't have a mild heat level. Spices, demerara, sugar, paprika, salt, garlic, and onion. Again, 0.5 this, 0.5 that. But this one's also really good for barbecuing, vegetables, pork, chicken, whatever. Whatever, fish. Then I got, I got, I got duplicates of some of these. Yeah, I got two fajita-ish and two crossroads. The authentic southern barbecue, because they're kind of hard to come by. I used to be obsessed with the blue one, the steak one. But these are the fajita-ish. I got two of them. Mexican never tasted so good. That's what it does. Mexican never tasted so good and we're gonna finish this later I gotta go back to work so I know I had a little bit of a wardrobe change so the last two I got I'm not sure where I cut it off the video sorry it's kind of dark but I was going over the two that I got the same of which are the fajita-ish I got two of them because they're just so so good and you never know when you need a fajita-ish. And um, these are actually very good for a long time. So the fajita-ish seasoning, it says high temp grilling, pan searing, blackening, and barbecue. Dizzy Pigs fajita-ish spice blend showcases an array of spices, chilies, and herbs used regularly in Mexican cooking. With this seasoning, this seasoning, We've created the perfect blend and totally nailed the south of the border flavor profile. Fajita-ish. Takes the familiar and totally ramps it up with fresh ground whole, sorry that's my foot, whole spices, just like you've, you'd expect from Dizzy Pig. All natural, gluten-free, no MSG. And yeah, they're sugar-free. Well, the ish fusion blends are sugar free. The other ones that aren't ish may not necessarily be sugar free. And the fajita ish has a combination of spices, which we don't know what they are. Mystery seasonings or spices, salt, paprika, onion, and garlic. And I noticed it does clump a little, some of them, and other ones that I've used before from different brands. It says we do not add any and they don't add anti-caking agents. So tapping on the tapping the bottle on the count, counter solve most clumping issues, and I've noticed that too. Yeah, and they do have some other tips on here for that when that happens. But like I tend to like just bang it on the table. My bed's not gonna work, but I'll bang it on like the counter like that you know, in the kitchen or wherever I'm working, like in the, by the grill, when I'm grilling, I, I, I tap it, go like this gently on the, the barbecue counter. And then these are two crossroads. I think I went over these earlier, but we'll do it again real quick. Crossroads Authentic Southern Barbecue Rub, which is not an ish fusion. So it does have a teensy bit of sugar, and that's the first ingredient on the crossroads. It's their Authentic Southern Barbecue Rub. Demerara, 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 I don't know how to pronounce this, sugar, Demerara, <laughs> Menomena, do, 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 Menomena, do, 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 salt, spices, paprika, garlic, chilies, and onion. Yeah, and these, I believe they're $8.99 each on the website. I just went straight up to Dizzy Pig, I looked them up, but they do have them at like, I forgot what the store is. It tells you online where else you could find them. But I went to the Dizzy Pig website directly because I figured why not. And there's like a shipping minimum. I think it was $50 or something. Something along those lines. But I will leave you the link for them, for these, in the description box below. They're, del they're absolutely delicious. 
especially the fajita one. But yeah, and the this one I'm probably gonna use tonight. It's been a long time, and now that I got it, I'm gonna probably use it because I got a nice ribeye for us to share. And tomorrow we're having prime brine pork chops from the German butcher too. So yeah, but these are so delicious. I highly recommend them. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe because I know you haven't. It says 90 something percent of my viewers haven't subscribed to my channel. Bye. So these are the spices. We got Crossroads, Authentic Southern Blend, Barbecue Blend Rub, or Barbecue Rub, whatever it's called. We got two Crossroads, not to be confused with the Britney Spears movie, Dizzy Pig. Then I have one Fetish, two Fajita-ish. They really are called Fajita-ish, I'm not kidding. Then we have this delicious one that's really good on steak and vegetables and stuff, the Cowlick Spicy Beef Rub. And then I have this one that's new to me, the Mediterranean-ish, which is like Greek, Italian inspired. It's delish, it smells delish. Can't wait to use that one. Then we have the Dizzy Dust All-Purpose Barbecue Rub. Delicious, and that's it from the Dizzy Pig.